Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. So you just need paper, pencil, a black marker, and make sure you have a, an eraser on you, okay? All right. Um, Scott is going to put up on his screen. Thanks, Scott. He's going to put up a picture. So if you can see his picture, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll spotlight him for just a second. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Scott. Um, so see this, this style of rabbit? This is the style of rabbit that we're going we're gonna to do. And if you look at the rabbit that's on the right, you see that he's got like all these, they're called contour lines. And they're showing how um, the rabbit is, his ears are curved, his like nose is curved up, the sides of his cheek are curved down. We're going to be drawing in some of those contour lines really lightly. And then we're going to go over it with lots of little lines to, to show that it looks like it has texture. So, all right, thanks for doing that, Scott. I'm going to go ahead and, and spotlight this. So I'm going to guide you guys through drawing this. So it's really helpful when you have your paper that um, you turn it so that it is vertical, not horizontal, because one thing I've noticed, especially when you're drawing in uh, rabbits, is that the ears always extend out farther than you think they're going to. So you want to start your drawing near the bottom of your paper. Otherwise, you're not going to have room for those tall ears. Okay, so the first line you're going to do, or the first shape you're going to do is somewhere near the bottom. Don't, not totally near at the bottom. I would say maybe, here's the bottom of my paper. I would say maybe an inch or so up. You can start with a, start with a circle. Start with a circle. And I did, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I messed up on my circle too a little bit. So let's start with a circle. And you want to be drawing kind of lightly because we're going to go back in and erase all of these lines. Hi, Sophia. So we're, we just got started. We're just starting to draw in our bunny today. So start with a circle somewhere near the bottom of your paper and make sure that your paper is um, vertical. So you're going to have room for those long, tall ears. Okay, the next shape you're gonna do is coming from the bottom of the circle. I'm just starting down here and I'm gonna do another circle kind of around it, but then I bring it up like this. So I started somewhere near the bottom of the circle. I brought it up and around and then back over just like that. Okay. The next line that I'm gonna do is so watch this one carefully guys this is this is one of the this is one of the trickiest lines so i'm starting on that line where i where i did before right here i'm just going to kind of drag it out so I'm, I'm going over that line i'm going to do the side of my bunny's face so i'm just kind of going up and like and up like this it's almost like a pear shape or an, an avocado shape almost so i just kind of went up and over I'm going to do the other side, up and over, and I'm just kind of connecting the two. So it, this shape kind of tapers in, it kind of closes in a little bit at the top. And then I can go back, I can fix it up a little bit. Maybe I want to like make it go in just a little bit like that. That's why I draw lightly so I can fix up the line a little bit. But you're doing a shape that's kind of going out and in, it tapers just a little bit. That's why I think it looks kind of like, maybe like an, almost like an avocado or a, a pear shape where the bottom part is wider than the top. Okay, and this is why you had to start at the, start your, your nose at the bottom because now using whatever space you have left at the top is where we're gonna add in our ears. So aren't you glad we started near the bottom? I don't even have that much space. So over here, I'm gonna go up. Actually, I'm going to make them big ears. So I'll do one ear here, and then I'll do another tall ear over here. I'm going to make this one a little bit more tapered at the top. Tapered means that it like comes closer to a point, Oop, kind of like that. Smooth this line out a little bit, just like that. And remember to draw lightly because we're going to go back in and erase all our lines when we're done. Okay, all right. You have to let me know if I'm going too fast for you. The next step is gonna be to draw, what's that? 
I'm going too fast, even though I did the wrong way. Okay, I'm going too fast, no worries. I want to draw it again. Okay, all right. So we need like a little time. Is that Afna? Is it Afna that's speaking? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. It's okay, Afna. So start at the bottom with a circle, and you did the, the um, the the kind of circle around, and then and I, I didn't did. Know how to make it this little curve that you made on the bottom of this little. Here, I'll I'll do it one more time over here for you. Okay. So I started with a circle near the bottom of the page. Then, starting at the bottom, I just went up and around that circle, just like that, okay? I made it too small. Okay, well you gotta go, then go lightly and erase if you need, okay? Um, all right, Afna, you work, you work on that. I'm gonna show everybody the next step, but I'll come back and, and, do another, and, and, and work on this one again, okay? I'll try to, I'll try to look at that. Okay. So the next step is to add in the nose and the mouth. So all I'm gonna do is here, I'm just kind of doing like a, almost like a wide U, and then down like a J, and a backwards J. It's gonna be my little bunny rabbit's mouth. So Afna, once you have that shape done, then you're just doing a, a big shape around it, like this. Kind of like that going to be the bunny rabbit's head, okay? All right, once you have the nose and the mouth drawn in, so from each side of the ear, so the outside edges of the ear, all I'm going to do I is... I made it already, I made it already. Let me show you how I made it. It's not so big as you made, but it's okay. Awesome, <laughs> Afna. That looks great. You're great. Awesome. All right, then you're ready. You're ready to catch up to us. Okay. So, so starting with the edges of the ears here and here, I'm just gonna connect those lines to my nose. Just like this, just like that. Then I can draw in two big eyes. One here and one here. And I'm actually gonna go over those eyes. In fact, I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna take my marker right now, my Sharpie. Can I made in there have flowers with a line like? Oh, definitely, Afna. Can I make this in a body? I don't know how to draw a rabbit's body, but I'll try. And <laughs> I, know, I know how to make flowers. I love flowers. Oh, you're doing a great job, Afna. I, I think that it looks great. We'll do a share at the end, okay? So just keep working on it and we'll share it at the end, all right? Keep going. So. Now that I have his eyes and his nose and his mouth, all I'm gonna do is at the very bottom, I'm just gonna give him some shoulders here and here so he's not just a floating head. It's not a floating head body. And like I said, remember all of these lines that we're drawing with our pencil, we're gonna go back in and erase in a minute. So the next step is to add in something called a contour lines. And contour lines are gonna show us that the ears are curving, that the nose is curving. So all I'm gonna do, I'll start at the top of one of my ears. I'm turning my paper a little bit so that it'll help me when I do these lines. But all I'm doing is I'm doing some curving lines to show that this ear is really curving around, just like this. Actually, I'm gonna fix this one a little bit more. Fix these two so that they're curving like this. There we go. Maybe one more like this. Okay. And then I'll fix this one a little bit. So they're curving like that. All right, so now I've done these curving lines on one ear. I'm gonna do some curving lines on the other ear. So curve, curve, and it's up to you how close you put your lines or how far apart you put your lines. We're gonna be adding in little marks like this inside each of the areas that you draw these lines. So the closer they are, the more marks you'll do. The farther away, the less marks you'll do. So I'm just adding in some curving lines. This is really making- I'll make it a little bit smaller. This is, okay, Afna. This is really making 
our bunny rabbit, like his ears look like they're, they're curved. So when you add, when you're drawing in these curved lines, um, can you do different line patterns? Yeah, absolutely. Totally. You totally can. Um, Missy and, has her hand up. Missy, yes. Okay, so I had a question. Like, I had an idea. Like, could, um, could I outline it with the word saying rabbit? Totally. You totally could. This could almost totally be like a, a word. You could, you could add words inside of the, inside of each of the lines or you could totally outline with letters or words. That's a really cool idea. Totally okay. good. Yeah, this project really lends itself to that. Um, so his nose is also going to be popping up. So I'm okay. going to continue curves that are going up like mountain curves. Afna has her hand raised. Okay, Afna, yeah, what's up? Hi, I made an elephant like this. His head small, and I showed you already. It's it, it love like this. And I want, can, can I make the stripes all the way on his face? And I yeah. can make flowers in there? That's a great idea. Great idea. These are, so you, remember, you guys, you guys are the artists here. And I'm, even though I'm, I'm doing a, a demonstration, you can take this project any way you want. Yours does not have to look like mine at all. In fact, if it doesn't look like mine, that's awesome because it just shows that you're being your own unique artist. So it's totally up to you what, uh, what, what style, if you want to add something, if you want to take I'll something out. I'll show you. I'll make it beautiful. Okay. So his, his face, this part, is actually going to be a different kind of line. It's going to curve under because this part of his face is actually curving out. So his nose, his nose is curving like forward, but then the rest of his face is curving like backwards, if that makes any sense. So watch. So everywhere I do a line, I'm just going to curve it the other way. I'm doing like the opposite curve. So I'm doing almost like a U curve, valley curve, as opposed to a mountain curve, like an M or an N. And I'm just continuing the curves. There's a question in the chat. Can I, can I do different line patterns in different spots? Yes, yeah, yeah. Liliana and Heather, as I saw that, I think I, I saw that question. Yes, you absolutely can. Absolutely can do different kinds of lines in different spots. Like I said, these are your drawings and they're totally up to you. Different pattern. Awesome. So I'm just, I just, so you can already see just by drawing in some of these, these are called contour lines. Your rabbit almost always, your, it already looks like it's like popping out just because you've added in some of these curve, curvilinear lines that, that show that his nose is coming forward and the back of his face is, is receding, it's going back and his ears are popping forward. For his body, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of curves like this. Maybe like three. That, okay. All right. Once you have all of your contour lines drawn, and this is the super fun part, and you can use any color marker. Like I said, I'm using a black Sharpie, but it can be totally up to you. Inside each of this, these lines, now I'm just gonna do, I call them hash marks. They're just little up and down lines. You don't have to do up and down lines. You can do different kinds of line patterns, but this is the, the style that I'm, that I'm doing for mine. And I'm just gonna follow the space. And I'm just doing lots of quick little, ha like little hash marks. Like this. You could do this style for any kind of drawing. I think this is kind of neat because it, it's just a different kind of mark making and it's showing like when you're done, it's gonna, your rabbit's really gonna look like it has a lot of texture to it. So texture is how something feels, but in art, what we're doing is flat. So this is actually, it has a different word. It's called implied texture. And we give implied texture based on what kinds of marks we do. 
So if you did lots of dots, that would be a totally different implied texture. If you did marks that went back and forth like a, um, like a cross hatching, that would give a totally different texture. If you had lots of circles together, that would give a totally different texture. So the, the kind of lines and the kind of mark making we do uh, dictate what the texture is going to look like. So I'm just doing the little hash marks, keeping it easy, but you're welcome to take this wherever you would like to take this. So you can use whatever kinds of mark making work for you. You can also make one example and then experiment with it and go back and do a different kind. You, it doesn't have to be a bunny rabbit. You could do anything. You could do a person like this. You could do a tree like this. You could do anything like this. So when I finish my ears, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna follow the lines on the inside for his head. You could use different colors, do different patterns. Just a different way of drawing because it's not just entirely based on the lines that you that you're drawing um, that are going around the shape. This this kind of drawing is about the lines that are inside of the shape. And it's a pretty quick drawing. Today was actually like, like today's drawing will we probably will finish early because kind of a fast type of drawing. But I always imagine when I, when I see pictures like this, like the, it makes me, always makes me think of um, like book illustration. Like I feel like some, some kids books have drawings that would look, they would be like in this style. It's a totally different style. So for the lines that are curving under, I'm just starting to add the ones under. Oh, if you wanted, I forgot to tell you, if you wanted to add eyelashes, your bunny rabbit or any other details like I might I loved I loved the example of the uh with the one with the with the glasses so I might add in some glasses do this side Afna has her hand raised hi Afna what's up Oh, wow, Afna, that's cool. Nice job. What a cute bunny with the flowers inside of him. You're gonna give him like a flower crown? Yeah. <laughs> give, him, give him a body. Give him a body so he's not just a floating rabbit head. Okay, I'll give him a body. <laughs> okay. So the bottom what lines I'm curling under because that's where the head is curling under. So see how I curve those lines under? You can curve your lines to help show that there's movement. Afna would like to share. Hey, Afna. Oh, cute. Give him, give him some texture. Give him some texture on that body. Okay.
So for the part around his mouth, I'm going to do some, I'm, I'm turning my paper so that it'll be easier for me to, to do. I'm going to do some lines that are curved all the way around. And on the inside of his nose, maybe I just give some short little lines. Going this way. Yeah, I'll do some ones going this way. Do some ones going this way. And give a couple around the bottom. And there you go. So now I'm going to take my eraser and I know you guys probably aren't finished yet, but that's okay. But the next step when you are done is to take your eraser and go back in and erase all those pencil marks that you did. So erase all those lines that you had so that you don't see any of the pencil marks. And then if you want, you want to add on um, any details, like you could do like off night, you could give them a flower crown or glasses or a background or um, I don't know. Any, it's kind of up to you guys. You can give her, give your bunny a, a crown. I'm going back and I'm erasing. Let me flip this over. Oh, no, I can't flip that over. Turn it this way. Okay. Erasing all these pencil lines. But this is just kind of an interesting way to give your drawing um, some texture based on the kind of mark making you did. And it's a different way of drawing, that's for sure. Most people don't draw with lines on the inside of their drawings. Most people draw like by drawing the lines around. But today we're, we started with draw with lines around, but now we're going back and erasing all those lines so that the shape is almost totally made up of lines that are on the inside, interior texture lines. Mm trying real hard to go back and make sure I erase all of these pencil marks. And then, I'm a little bit inspired by Afna. I think I'm gonna maybe add some flowers. I think that was a great idea, Afna. Maybe you wanna do, I'll do a little flower crown. Or uh, I'll give him like a, yeah, I'll give, I'll give, I'll give him some flowers in his, in his hair. Okay, what a great idea. And I might color, I might color the flowers in with, um, with color pencil just for some variety. But I'd love to see what you guys have so far. If anybody would like to share. Here's Nissy. Nissy, let's see. Okay, so it, it came out okay. Ooh, is that, so you did the word rabbit all the way around? That's awesome. That's really cool. That came out really, really detailed. I love it. That's really, really, really neat. I don't know what to do for the inside. Um. It's totally up to you. You could do dots, you could do lines, you could do, um, you could just do the letter R all the way across. You could write your name. You could, uh, totally up to you. Totally up to you. Here's Cat. Hey, Cat, let's see. So mine's not done yet because I just 
stop probably would have been closer, but I had to stop and wait for my mom to go grab me a new Sharpie. Oh, okay. Mine died. Oh, yeah, that happens. Trick, a, a pro tip for when you're storing Sharpies, store them, um, if, you, if you have them in like a jar or something or a cup, store them upside down so that all of the ink runs to the tip. They'll last longer that way. Um, wow, I like the spiral, the spiral texture you're giving them. Super cute. That's a cool texture. I love it. That's awesome. Very cool. Here's Afna. Afna. Let's see. Oh, flip it up. Yeah. <laughs> nice background. Where Where is this rabbit? This is the crown and this is the body. Where, where is he? Is it snowing or raining where he is? No, it's not. I need to go that. It's like raining or snowing, but I need to just like a decoration. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful job. Can I, can I add some little like things and spots or like circles or anything? I, I couldn't understand that. Afna, can you do what? The queers or something. You're welcome to do any kind of drawing you want. If you want to do a different drawing, if you want to add more to that drawing, you want I need to do a drawing that I want to show you. Oh, sure. You could show us another drawing. Totally. Okay. It's from you. I made it from you. I already showed you it, but I want to show you again. Oh, was that your 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 uh, Tom? That's great. You did such a good job on your Tom. Can I give him a body? To you could give him a body. Totally. Totally. Give him a body. What a great idea. I know how to draw a cat's body. That's a great idea. Can we see your bunny again? Um, uh, your we, yeah, there. sure. Good. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. I didn't make those flowers like this. So I was I just, I was just adding, hold on off now, okay? I was just adding extra details and I'm just, I'm going over it with Sharpie and then I'm going to add color in so that it'll stand out because this drawing is all in black and white. So I was just adding in some flowers on the top. Um, but yeah, so it, 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 it looks like here, if you want, if you want a clean, a clean picture, it just looks like that. <laughs> I need the crown like this. If you want to give your bunny any details, like I don't know, like uh, um, uh, uh, like uh, glasses, or you could give them a mustache. I don't know. It's totally up to you. Totally up to you guys. We have a couple more people with their hands up. Yeah, let's see. Here's love... Esme. Hi, Esme. You want to share? Yeah. Let's, let's Just let see. me finish doing this. Okay. So that was my bunny. Oh, I like. I'm gonna blush. add glasses. I love the blush. I think that's really sweet. <laughs> I like that little touch. That's awesome. Thanks. Nice job. Is Here's Liliana and Heather Rose. Liliana, Heather Rose. Yeah, let's see. Here's mine. Oh, wow. Oh, cool patterns. Those are really neat. Cool pattern. I like that, those patterns. Those are awesome. Very Thank cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> As you can show it without the date on it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, cool colors. Whoa. That's crazy. That picture is totally crazy. I like the um the 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 pink and the gray for his ears, and the texture that you're at that you added. That looks awesome. Very cool. I like that everybody took this and like went their own way with it. I think that that's really really neat. I think that's a sign of like you being very creative. Hi, Afna. Did you want to share, Afna?
you're just sharing your pencil, your Elsa pencil. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Yeah, if anybody else wants to share, oh, it's Rapunzel. If anybody else wants to share their um, their work, you're more than welcome to share any uh, pro any project that you've done. A spring, spring. What's yeah? Spring spring. yeah. Like I said, today today's project was pretty quick, so we have a little extra time at the end. We might finish a little early today, actually. Anybody else ready to share theirs, or they're still working? You can also give your, your, your rabbit a background. You could give it, um, you could put your, put your bunny somewhere. So I had, I did have a bunny growing up. I had a pet bunny. His name was Nibbles. <laughs> I was clearly very young when I had him. So I, I named him Nibbles. Um, he was pretty cute. He was definitely a cute little rabbit. He was very, he was a gray long-eared bunny. Um, and, and I loved him. He was a great little bunny. But yeah. Um, does anybody else have any that they want to share? And not yet. We're still working. It's okay if we're still working. I'm still working on the details of mine. Sometimes it's all about those details. Sometimes it's all about adding in the, the color and like the, the, the details that make the picture really stand out. But like I said, this is just a totally different way of drawing that we haven't done before. So I'm glad you guys all experimented and tried your hand out at something new. I know sometimes it's hard to do something new, but it's kind of kind of cool. You learn a totally different style or totally different type of drawing. I wonder if you can take this drawing and like the style of drawing and, 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 and do it uh, in another way. You could do a different type of drawing with it. I'm just, I like, I like blending in colors. So I'm just mixing in some extra colors in my flowers, seeing what happens. Maybe these flowers, let me go back and erase all the pencil lines again. Maybe these flowers, maybe these flowers go off the page. I don't know. Maybe they like, maybe there's like a, maybe there's a, a garland of flowers. Maybe they twine up his ears. I don't know. Could have, they could come out. Yeah, kind of like a flowers that are twining up his ears. So that maybe they're going around. This rabbit's ears are going to be adorned with flowers. I don't know. It's got it's a happy little girl bunny, I guess. It's a good thing. I think our I think I think we lost all the boys today. I think the boys saw that saw that we were drawing rabbits and they're like, eh, I want to come tomorrow. <laughs> but if anybody else wants to share, you're like I said, you're more than welcome. Anybody and anybody wants to share. Here's Isaac. Oh wait, there is a boy. There are some boys here. Sorry, Isaac, I didn't see you. I think your camera was off. Hey. It's all right. <laughs> that's okay. Let's see. There we go. Oh wow, that's amazing. I love that you did them all really small and that you really focused and like um, it makes it look so detailed. Yeah. I, I really love this style of drawing. I think it's like I, I, I wonder like what you could what else you could you could do with this style. Like I feel like there's sure there's a lot. There's, yeah, I feel like there's some really cool ways you could take this the style of drawing. But and and the smaller you go, um, I went pretty big with mine, 
for the example, but the smaller you go and the more detailed they are, the more um, intricate it really looks. Mm -hmm. That looks awesome. Really cool job. Yeah. yeah. Nice work. <laughs> Here's Judy. Hi, Judy. So. <gasps> wow, Judy. That looks, yours. That looks I, awesome. I love him. That I looks, love yours. Thank uh -oh. you. Yeah, no problem. That looks awesome. You did such a good job. That's a, yeah, like I said, I just, I really love this style. I just, I love trying new things like this. Hopefully I will be able to share and show kids how to do it. But yeah. I think the boys did great. So I'm oh hoping gosh. boys like it too. Yeah, I know. You know, I think that like, you just need to add some more. I, I, I went really, clearly I went really girly with it when I started adding flowers to mine, but I, the, you could, you could definitely take it <laughs> in a different direction. <laughs> Could we do like a Star Wars helmet or some kind oh, of helmet? Totally, you totally could. Okay, great. Totally. Thank could. you. That's exactly what I would do if I was teaching. Um, if I had a, a a classroom full of like a mixed mixed group of kids. Here's Laura. Okay, so I'm almost done. I added some glasses. Let's see. Wow! Oh my gosh, that rabbit looks so smart. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What a what a cute rabbit. Oh, and I like the lines that you did on the bottom. That looks awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, that, I love it. Like the different textures that you have. Very nice. Here's Cat. Hi, Cat. So I'm not quite done, but I'm much closer than I was before. Let's see. Oh, nice. Those swirls, man, that's like such like, he looks so whimsical. He's a very whimsical bunny with all this, the swirls going on. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait till you, you're, you're finished. Keep working on it, okay? I think we still have, we still have like, we still have time. So you might finish it today. Here's Nissy and then Gina after Nissy. Sure, Nissy. Let's see. So this is mine. <laughs> he, I, the, the letters came out really cool. I love that you, that's how you chose to, to do him. What, so what'd you put on, inside? I, I, it's a little hard to see. What? Oh, I just put rabbit. Oh, you put the word rabbit? That's cool. And it, then in his eyes. It's totally word art. Totally word art. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, I like, I love that style. I think that uh, Rhiannon taught a class that was word art. Did you take her class? No. No? Oh, okay. I, I think that she did a class that was, maybe Scott was in it. Scott, did, didn't uh, Rhiannon do like a class that was all about? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's on YouTube if anyone wants to check it out. Yeah. She had a cool one that was like, basically what you're doing, Nissi, it was like using um, letters and to, to do like a, a piece of art using, yeah, word art. Very <laughs> like, cool. Yeah, did, was it portraits? I don't remember what it was. I, I don't remember. You don't remember? I remember. Ooh, look at a little differently, but. Oh, I love him. Look at how happy he looks with the spots and his, the sparkle in his eye and on his nose. He's so cute. And you added whiskers, which I didn't even, I didn't even talk about whiskers, but he definitely looks super cute with them. Oh, I love it. And I love that you you kept the pattern. Is it what? It's a little hard to tell what color was it. Was it pink? What color are the lines in, inside? Oh no, they're just they're just regular pencil marks. Okay, I see. From far away, they get. <laughs> He's so cute, so cute. Thanks for sharing. Here's Afna. Oh. Hi, Afna. Hold on one second, Afna. Isaac just said she did. I was there. Yeah. So Isaac, it was the like the word art one. Yeah. You know what? Okay. Go ahead, Afna. Um, I can't hear her, but oh, I like that background. Look at that rainbow. Very cool. Very cool. I love it. Nice job. <laughs> Here's Here. Vienna and Victoria. Oh, let's see, Sienna, Vienna, Victoria, let's see. Let's see what you guys came up with. <gasps> Whoa, look at that rabbit. Look at all that texture in that rabbit and those colors. Oh my gosh, so cool. Mm -hmm. So cool. 
And I like the little bow. Mm -hmm. I'm working on a background, maybe rainbow stripes. Ooh, that'd be nice. We're not done yet. But... <gasps> wow, that is a wild rabbit with some really cool patterns. <laughs> I like the color. And Thank you gave him... you. Does that rabbit have a crown on top too? Yeah, I see. I'm working on it. <laughs> I see that crown's going on. What color are you going to color that crown? I don't know. You're not sure yet? <laughs> well, he looks awesome, or she looks awesome. Very cool. Thank you, Lee. Thank That's you. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Judy, I just had a thought. You could do, like, pirate rabbits. <laughs> you could definitely do, like, a, pir a pirate theme. <laughs> you could give him, like, eye patches and, like, uh, the, they could be holding, like, a pirate flag or something. <laughs> You can definitely, there are definitely details that you could add to make these less, uh, less Or maybe a pirate ship. A pirate yeah. ship, yeah. You could definitely add a pirate ship. Wouldn't that be cool? Charlotte would like to share. Yeah, let's see, Charlotte. Um, this is mine. I'm adding little vines on the ears. <laughs> and at first, I accidentally started coloring the part that um that was well these are sunglasses and i at first i accidentally started to come in the part where the black is right now red uh-huh i was gonna color it gray and but in, but i knew that wouldn't cover it so i would i just colored it black oh like the eyes are covered by the sunglasses oh, yeah it looks like he's wearing sunglasses it also looks like it's raining carrots in this world uh -huh. This rabbit is having a great day. It's a sunny day. It's raining carrots. Mm -hmm. He's like living his best life over here. <laughs> what a happy rabbit. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. I love it. You guys came up with some creative, uh, creative ideas. Like, I love, it's all about the details of this project. I love all the, all the, like the, the weird little, little details that you guys can add to make to make them unique, to make these rabbits look really yours. Um, yeah, does anybody else wanna share? Is there anybody, anybody else still working? Just finishing these vines that are twisting up my rabbit's ears. And like I said, I like to mix my greens, so I usually just play around with my colors when I'm using color pencil to get some more variety in the colors. Sophia would like to share. Sophia, yeah, we haven't seen yours yet. Let's see. Oh, he looks awesome. He looks awesome. You really, you went small with like all the little lines. That looks great. I love it. You like, there's a lot of like, like, like I was telling Isaac, the smaller you go, like the more detailed it looks. Very cool. Nice style. What are you gonna do? A, are you gonna give him a background or anything? Uh, not you're sure. You're not sure yet. That's okay. You have time. You've got time. Here's Esme. Esme. Hi. Is this side it? Yeah, this side is it. Oh wait, does it say bunny? Does it say yeah. bunny over and over and over again? Yeah. Esme, were you were you in Rhiannon's class? No, I wasn't. Okay. I only go to your classes because oh. they're like at the best time for me. Oh yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, you can always you can always find them on on YouTube because I know I know she had a whole a whole thing on um, uh, like word art. It seems like there's a lot of people who really like it. Yeah, but I love it. That looks awesome. Really cool, guys. Really really cool. Um, I know that a lot of you finished early. If you finished early and you have to head out, you're more than welcome. You don't have to stay for the whole time if you're if you're all done and you've shared, or if you want to stay and do a different a, like a different drawing in the style, it's totally up to you. Totally up to you. I'm just still working on these flowers. The details that take the time the most time. You can really tell when somebody spent a lot of time on a piece of art and really like giving it a lot of attention. Another little flower, I think, over here. Little one. Make another 
I would lose power. Uh, does anybody know what kind of animal or what kind of pet they're going to do tomorrow? Or what kind of materials they're going to use? Because tomorrow is tomorrow's way more open-ended. Tomorrow you can do any kind of any kind of animal or any kind of pet. Anybody have any ideas what they might do? You're gonna do a turtle? I love it, Gina. That's awesome. Do you, are you gonna draw or do you know what materials you're gonna use? Draw, sculpt, paint. Oh, I just saw that, that, um, that Scott wrote, you're gonna draw it, thanks, Gina. Scott um, put the link, thank you, Scott. He put the link for Rhiannon's class um, where she did the, the word art, if you're interested in that. She, I know she had a really cool lesson. I, I, I saw her plan. I didn't see her lesson, but I saw the plan that she made when she was going to teach it. Awesome. Does anybody else know what other pets they might do? Turtle. I don't even know which one I'm, like, I'm going to do yet. I have to think about it. And then my, a ferret. I love it. Do you guys have a ferret? <laughs> Had a ferret knowledge. <laughs> oh, you had to be really careful because they would, um, they're so like thin and easily, like they can maneuver into tiny places. So they would get like behind the washer and dryer. <laughs> you have to be careful when they're out. Um, you want one. You're going to do a giraffe, Laura, a pet giraffe. <laughs> that would be really crazy. Like, I don't know. You'd have to have, you'd have to have a very large yard. <laughs> Laura, you're doing a, what's a griff? Like a, like, like a, a griffin? Like a, like the bird? Oh, a giraffe. Oh, wait, no. Oh, you meant, a, you meant a giraffe? Oh, sorry, Laura. I see it now. I see it. Sorry. I see giraffe. Thank you for help. help. Thank you for clearing up that, that, uh, that, that Liliana Heather Rose. Yeah. So giraffe, giraffe would be really crazy. That would be nuts. Oh, no, just as a final pass, I'm going to go over mine one more time with my eraser just to make sure that all the pencil marks are erased. And I, Oh, I keep forgetting to do this, but an important part of your finished work is to sign it. So at the bottom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sign my work. And I usually like to date it. So it's, uh, what is the date? Today is 5-21-20. So I always like to give my, give my work a little date. So especially if I work in a sketchbook, because I think it's really interesting if you if you ever work in a sketchbook to date your date your work because that way when you go back years later you can see like what it was you were working on and when because you you forget you forget when you worked on things you're gonna do a cricket that's awesome they are adorable they're totally adorable Isaac that's awesome I, that's such a good that's such an interesting one do you know um, if you're gonna draw or paint or sculpt Isaac what are what are your thoughts on what medium you're going to work in. You draw it, you draw it. cool that are, um, that have like, like cool, like almost like anatomy of insects. Yeah, I used to have, I don't, I don't know what happened to those books, but yeah, they were really neat. It's kind of cool to look at like all the parts of them. That's, that's awesome. I love it. I can't wait to see your, your cricket drawing. All right. Um, so it is 1054. So I'm going to do a last, I'm going to do a call for, uh, for anybody who wants to share their final, final drawings. I see Charlotte's hand is up. Charlotte. Um, my mom couldn't figure out the chat line, so I, I, I'm going to draw a hummingbird. 
with a video. And this is my final rabbit. That's awesome. I love it. on the ears, but on the chest. <laughs> I love that you added in those flowers on the top. And like, I still love that. I love the, the, that it's raining, raining carrots. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, oh, who's this? Cat. Hi, cat. I finished my bunny. Let's see. That's a weird picture of me. Video, I'm free. It, yeah, it froze. It froze. Okay. We'll it's go okay. Back to yeah, we'll, we'll come right back to you, Kat. It'll unfreeze in a second. It's oh, just there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. It froze. It unfroze. Okay, okay we'll, we'll be right back to you in just Luckily a second. Luckily, it's on my side. Okay, we'll go to Kat now. Okay. You're right. I see you. Oh, nice, Kat. That looks great. I love it. I love the swirls. The spirals are really cool. He looks like... When you do swirls, it almost looks like and cotton. He looks this, cotton. So I'm not cotton -y. sure if you can see it. This is what I usually do with my signature. <laughs> I love it. I love that little signature with the cat inside the cat. Um, but it's interesting how the, the spirals almost make um, your bunny rabbit's hair look curly because it's like um, curly hair, curly, like a curly haired bunny. He's not a straight haired bunny. He's a, he's a curly haired bunny. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for sharing. Is there anybody else? I know there are some other people who wanted to share their finished work. Let's see. This might be final, final call for sharing. Laura, you and uh, you and your your cat sister. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you guys were sisters. Cool. Here's Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Hey, did you want to do a final share, or were you all done, or did you? Yeah. Sure. Let's see. I decided to do another one. Oh, that's awesome! I love that. I love that snake. That's Thank you. Awesome. That's amazing. It's a rattler, right? Is that his, or are you just not finished? I'm just not finished. You're just not finished with that, that section on the bottom. Okay, cool. Yep. It almost, from, from far away, because it's a little bit blurry. Oh, yeah. It That's almost, fair. Yeah, it almost looked like it was um, uh, like, a, like a rattle that you were adding on the back. That's, that's understandable. That's so cool. I love that it gives, the, it gives your snake such texture. He almost looks yeah, like... I thought it would lend itself well to a snake. Yeah, it definitely does. Definitely does. I love it. Really, way to take it and like uh, make it yours. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Isaac. Sure thing. Yeah. Oh, girls, that came out cool. Oh, you, you the raining carrots. Is it raining peas? And the vegetables. <laughs> vegetables and carrots. Looks like peas, like giant peas. <laughs> I mm. love it. <laughs> Very cool. Thank super, you. super cute drawing. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Here's Sophia. All right, Sophia. Added whiskers. Yes, definitely added. He needed some whiskers. Oh, he looks like such like a happy little bunny. What What do you think his name is? Uh, his name might just be Whiskers. Whiskers. Oh. Cute. He looks great. Really nice. Nice job um, with all the textured lines. Very cool. Very cool drawing. Don't forget to sign your work and like date it on the bottom because you, uh, you're working in a sketchbook. <laughs> all right. Last call for anybody who wants to share final, final work. Final share. Uh, oh, very cool. Very cool. That background, man. All that, all like the hash marks and it's rainbow order. You did rainbow order. It's a rainbow background. And I added silver. Oh, on the, yeah, I see like right at the bottom. Very cool. And is there, yeah. It, oh, is it, it's like shiny. Very nice. Well, I love it. Yeah. I love these drawings. Don't forget to uh, sign and date your works. You can, you can sign on the back if there's no room on the front. <laughs> oh, very nice. Thanks girls. Okay, all right, um, last call. Liliana's is named Cornwiz. 
<laughs> Spring Bee. Those are the funniest little bunny rabbit names I've ever heard. Spring Bee and Corn Fizz. <laughs> <laughs> If ever I have another bunny rabbit, I'm going to try to remember those two names. <laughs> those are really funny. All right, guys. Well, I hope that you had, um, had fun. I hope you guys learned a new style of drawing. You had experimented with something, something new today. Um, you guys all did a really awesome job. And uh, like I said, tomorrow is, is bring your, or, uh, your own it's, it's artist's choice. So your own drawing, your own, um, uh, it can be any material, it can be any kind of pet. All right. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Great job today. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Bye, Laura. Bye, Gina. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome.